so yeah sorry i i haven't been this like online in a while because you know i do have a life <laughs> but um it's sunday today and i've been kind of yeah engrossed in this debate about uh, a main caliph and the reason i made a video about uh, a main caliph was it was sparked mostly by the comments that were under a video that Irene Britt USA had made. Now I've liked uh, Irene Britt Britt's um, uh, content before. Um, I think she makes interesting interesting enough content, but the 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 comments I've been a comment troll underneath her video maybe i'll just link it and won't go into anything if you want to read my comments because i just i want more people to realize like the wrong and i want more people to you know back off a little bit and i want more people to change their minds like like if there's any reason why i got into this debate it was to change people's minds about uh about transgenderism and about yeah about why it was wrong for 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 children to be transitioned for why it was wrong to to for many reasons but it's i don't know so does nobody else go by the saying like a broken a broken clock is right at least twice a day like i i live by that you know it's uh there is no there are no absolutes in things like you can't you have to search for the nuance in in everything and i feel like ju just so many people have jumped on this bandwagon thankfully um for thank thank you to rad Ma rad mom for commenting on my uh on my pay on my uh on my page i really appreciated that and i appreciate that i was able to see a video that she had made because it it, it hadn't come up in my feed before even though i'm subscribed to her um but <sighs> No, it's nice to know that I'm not the only one who's like, lads, <laughs> ladies, we are wrong about this one. And I think, you know, to see, to see how many people who, who are commenting on like, oh, why isn't she wearing like the headscarf? Why isn't she wearing this, that or the other? Like just because she's Muslim, like she has to cover up because that's what, that's the, that's the one dimension one dimensional way that you view like women who are muslim like you know like it's just it's just commenting on how she walks like they've never seen a, a woman kind of have like a heavier step or anything like that like you know i think i commented somewhere like does she need to be swishing her hips or something like i don't understand like what way a woman walks like has nobody ever seen like a really tall and skinny woman before like uh there are loads of women out there who fucking walk like lurch you know, <laughs> you know? it's it's um it's like if she if she if she um she's damned if she does and damned if she doesn't like if she puts on like this if she puts on makeup if she's wearing like traditional dress and everything it's like uh like she's criticized for it. she's criticized for that like like who's she trying to fool like she's obviously a guy and then when there's photos of her looking really masculine it's like see we fucking we talk like you know there's no she can't she can't win and she's won gold <laughs> she can't win she cannot win she cannot avoid this scrutiny this wave of harassment that is being like unleashed on her and i just i don't know the fact that she's still like out there trying to like prove her prove her name like because i'm sure i'm sure at some point if there is a lawsuit with jk rowling i'm sure at some point there's going to be there's going to be a dna test there's going to be some sort of proof there's going to be something that needs to that needs to come to light and um yeah i'd said this to radman but i hope that it i hope that it doesn't come to that i hope that people can like see this a bit sooner i hope people stop doubling down and doubling down because we we want to be right we want to show people like look what's happening to women's sports because it is happening it is happening to women's sports there are men in women's sports 
But the thing about this is, yeah, it is. It's just going to be used against us and like, you know, yeah, because we're because we're wrong. We're wrong about this one. It's like, look what the turfs, look what the turfs did. I just think, yeah, it's um, isn't isn't that what they always say? Like, you know, our side is eating its our side is eating itself, or uh, they always comment. They always comment about that. Uh, we end up eating ourselves, and in this case, it's it's true. It's look look at what we've done to like look at what we've done to a woman. Look at what we've done. And I have to say we because like I'm part of this movement. I'm part of like wanting to protect women's sports and spaces. Like these are my people that I've that I've stood with, that I've listened to, you know. I had to see Uta Hagen as well co commenting about uh Imain Khalif uh using male pronouns, saying something about um oh he'll he'll never have kids. Um, he'll probably marry a man, uh, just so he doesn't get thrown off a building or something like that. And I just thought, whoa, like, you know, like I've listened to her story about her husband, her husband Ned, and about how you know, uh, about how she's a trans widow. You know, I've I've followed a lot of her. I've followed her for a long time, um, and her story for a long time, and I've had nothing but sympathy for for her for for her and for all the like trans widows out there who are caught up in this but it's like dude this is just something you're wrong about this is just something that you're wrong about and um i hope more people like make videos and i hope more people like raise this woman up instead of like putting her down because she's not fitting into this really narrow view of like femininity like, I'm sorry, but, like, you you guys have, like, seen me. You've seen me wearing makeup. You've seen me mostly like this. You know, if somebody was, like, coming and calling me, like, a man, you would come to my defense and be like, she's clearly a woman. But I'm sure, like, I look fucking masculine in a, in a, in many, like, in many ways uh, at certain times. Like, I don't conform to, like, stereotypical femininity. Um, You know... If you see me working out, you're going to see me fucking sweaty with weird, weird hair. You're going to see me making weird fucking strong, strong woman faces, I hope. Um, you're not going to see me all the time looking, looking really feminine. But like, if, if an athlete who has won a gold medal dares to look athletic and strong and, you know, it's burn her. <laughs> it's fucking... It's so awful. It's so awful. We we need to collectively come together and just be like, <sighs> sorry about that, Amain. Uh, we we really appreciate uh, you as a as a strong ass woman, and uh, really appreciate you as a as a female role model for all the people in your country. Um, we are proud of the fact that you don't feel the need to uh, uh to to. We're proud of you for defying convention. We're proud of you for the fact that you don't feel the need to wear a hijab, uh, even though you're probably under immense amount of stress to 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 wear it living in the country that you you do. We're proud of you for pulling yourself up by your own bootstraps and for for going out there and fighting and scrapping among the boys. We're proud of you for all the tom all the tomboys out there who you know had to scrap among the boys as well just to do what they wanted to do as women. You know, come on, come on, come together right now. Let's, let's come together and let's say that we were wrong. Let's, <clears throat> let's get JK Rowling to publicly apologize, to stop doubling down and to, to, to see reality for what it is. This is a woman. She's a woman. I stand with her. I stand with her. For what it's worth.